Now we're going to discuss use of the 1112 Explorer on the upper right buckle. First thing we're going to do is from our modified pin grasp and place our fulcrum, which for the upper right I use an extra oral fulcrum leaned against the chin. This is my preferred fulcrum. It's also acceptable to fulcrum on the mandibular and reach up as long as you're not splitting your fulcrum. So I need to check to make sure my terminal shank is parallel. So I can do that a couple ways. I can establish my fulcrum, place my tip towards the tooth, and look at my terminal shank to see if it's parallel. There's the opposite end. You can see that this end is more oblique and would look like it would wrap around the tooth. And this end is parallel. Another quick reference point for checking the um, correct working end would be to look at the lower right because it's easy to see. So if it's incorrect on the lower right, then it's going to be correct on the upper right. Okay, so with my mirror retracting my cheek, I'm going to establish my fulcrum and start distal of the most posterior erupted tooth. So I'm going to start at distal line angle. Very light strokes roll around into the coal area. Remove the explorer from the sulcus. Re-enter the sulcus at the distal line angle. Do oblique strokes leading with my tip across the facial. Rocking on my fulcrum and roll around the mesial line angle, kicking that heel out into the coal. Same thing here on number three. I'm staying super gingerly so you can see how I'm keeping the lower two millimeters of the instrument adapted to the tooth. If I don't roll fast enough around this line angle, that tip is going to lacerate the tissue. So it's really important that you maintain proper angulation. Premolar. And roll. Premolar. And roll. Now I'm getting into the anterior sextant.